could, the first reason why I could think of why you shouldn't skip Skypea is because of the the arc before. The arc before uh, Skypea with Bellamy and the monkeys and Nolan and all that stuff, like Nolan's ancestor. Um, all this stuff is prepped to be like a man's dream will never die and Luffy finds the dream of going up there so the idea of doing jaya and jaya is an amazing small arc for one piece with blackbeard the bellamy fight like and you find out all about the nobles and stuff like that it it, it, it it's just like to to miss out on that yeah yeah to miss out on something miss out on jaya because it's 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 canonically goes into Skypia. it'd be like you watch Jaya and, and you just assume they went to Sky Island and whatever. Alright. So so to skip that, it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like a disservice to the whole message of this arc. Moving on. The next reason why you shouldn't skip Skypia is because the overarching story of Skypia with the villains and everything, they're just really cool. Like, the whole... There's a reason why people... There's a reason why people, like, still talk about Enel. God of Thunder. It's because he's dope. And the villains in it are just really strong and cool. They don't show up until way later, but, uh... Yeah. Yeah. I guess a, a thing I'll touch on later on, uh, but the, the point is God's army and the whole God aspect thing is just, it's just dope, dude. The next thing I'll go into is uh, Liar Nolan. Um, there's so many theories with this guy um, and the fact that he's brought up later a bunch Makes me think of he's probably like the past Usopp thing. And the thing is with this is a lot of people that like lie or are notorious for lying in One Piece end up telling like what they say becomes true later on. So anything that this guy did or said or has gone into uh, is kind of like a big deal. Like, they go into it later. Like, trust. Uh, but this guy is definitely something that should be known. The next reason why you should watch uh, Skypea is because it's the city of gold. It's an ancient civilization in a series that has to do with a void sensory. The fact that it's enriched in history and has tides to, like, God and everything... Makes it seem like uh, this shouldn't be skipped for lore purposes. It's even got a Ponic Lift in it. Like, that kind of history just seems like skipping is a bad idea. Next reason why you should watch it. Um, it's tied to the Pirate King. They go into this message as well. Like, I'm I, already right there. You should see that it's it brought back up. So, Skypea has already been brought back up a couple times. And it'll probably get brought up again. But a lot of them were, a lot of people were disappointed when it's been brought back up a few times. Because it makes it seem like that was the whole service that we got for it. But, uh... At least when you're watching early on, this kind of mystery and intrigue makes you want to keep watching the series. The next reason why you should watch Skypea is the dials. If you skip... If you skip Skypea, you, you, Usopp and all of them having these dials, especially the first fight that happens right after Skypea ends, it's a little confusing. 
So for me, it's kind of like they introduce them in here and tell you how they work, the 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 the, the like the negative aspects and how useful they are, and it's part of Usopp's arsenal. So to give the to give up the dials is kind of like it, it just makes me think you're you're you're. You're now at a point in One Piece where you're suspending your disbelief and they could just add anything to the series and you don't give a fuck. And I don't do that in One Piece. It's a, it's a long series and it slowly adds stuff here and there and kind of creeps you into its reality. So to skip a section, it, it, it you're just kind of like, I'm willing to accept everything. And I just think that like not the best idea in a long series like this the next thing reason why you shouldn't skip one piece is because of the ancient uh ship i won't i won't look into spoilers on this whole thing but this ship is capable of flight midair so it makes me think a nell's gonna come back yeah well well the thing is is a nell can his ship can fly so it makes me think that if the if the final arc is on like the red line or or with the government or whatever, he could show up at any point. And he wouldn't be alone even though all his god's men are gone because of the next thing I want to go into, the light uh novel of Anel going to the moon. And he has a race of like cyborgs by his side he actually there's like a whole lore of it but yeah this could tie into like what the one piece stuff is like it's a whole mini arc and remember he sees himself as god lightning lightning speeds aren't like that big of a deal in one piece anymore ever since like kizaru showed up uh, but the, the, the fact that this guy is doing stuff that's, like, on the moon makes it so, like... It, especially if we get into, like, turf on where the series is right now, it makes this kind of stuff, like, even more intriguing. Because it's, like, how far is the series going to actually go? Are we actually going to stay grounded? Or are we eventually going to go to space? Because he can breathe in space. Uh, the next reason why you shouldn't skip it is because of, uh, the, all the lore that really happens in Skypiea with the races that get in introduced later with other characters. Um, and like, it's, it's, it's whole, like the world of Skypiea in general, the whole like aspects of it being like heaven and hell and all that, uh, or heaven, right. And everything like that. Like it's. Any, anybody that's even remotely interested in religion or anything like that, this this arc is kind of like a real treat because they kind of like, like, Oda really knows how to like write a story and make it sound funny and believable with how like, like apostles and like, you know what I mean? Like stuff like that. It, he just kind of like makes it work and makes it like very entertaining. Um, and then the last reason why you should watch Skypiea, and I think it's the strongest reason, is because in Water 7, uh, Nico Robin is, like, the focal point. And this is the only adventure you get with her before Water 7. If, if you, if you, if you watch Alabasca and skip Skypiea to Water 7, she hadn't really been on the crew. So her leaving is not that big of a deal, but her having this long ass arc with the uh, with the straw hats makes Skypiea worth it because it makes the next arc stronger, which is what I was trying to say yesterday. Now, without spoiling Water Seven, because I only said I would be poking at uh, Skypiea, uh, Nico Robin is a big deal in that arc, and to skip this. You're you're kind of like again, just like with the dials. You're you're kind of basically saying, I don't really mind 
uh, if a crewmate leaves or, or whatever happens, like, it, I don't care what happens. Like, the, I just want to see events happen. And One Piece isn't really like that. It's been happening a lot in Wano, but it's also like, uh, Wano is like the, con basically like the final focal point of like time skip right now. So like, it's the payoff arc anyway. So it'd be like skipping like most of, uh, the second, uh, or the time skip because the build up, you don't want to see the build up. You just want to see the payoff. That, that's the main reason why you really shouldn't skip Skypiea. 